What makes a great conferences destination? Is it the supply chain, the venues, the local organizers, or is it something more, something intangible? Is it the incentives? Is it the feeling that delegates get when attending a conference? Well, we're here today in Cardiff to find out about its intangibles, about its heritage, about its culture, about its ties to sports. We're going to be talking to some great experts, visiting some iconic landmarks, and we're really happy that you can join us today. As we toured Cardiff, we learned more about the Welsh capital, but there's only so much you can learn about a place without speaking to its people. We chatted to three Cardiff experts to find out what makes the city a great events destination. Cardiff is very unique. We're a waterfront city, but we also have a really um, eclectic mix of venues in the city and down the bay. Well, with the conference market, I find they kind of like to do an activity like maybe the whitewater rafting, you know, halfway through the tour or something like that, or sometimes go out on a, a boat around Cardiff Bay. There's the, the gentle sightseeing kind of boats, or they can go out on a thrill seeker rib ride and actually go out into the Bristol Channel as well. I think Cardiff is a wonderful destination for people who want to have all of the facilities of a capital city, but also to have access to phenomenal green spaces, to be close to the coast, to have a, a vibrant creative scene, but to have those spaces as well where if you're having your conference you can uh, know that you've got state-of-the-art facilities and that you'll be looked after with some trademark Welsh hospitality. And it's a superb city to guide around because you've got the real contrast of you know, the classic Cardiff Castle and the Civic Centre and then we head down to the bay where often we have a little stroll around the waterfront and people are really, really surprised what a lovely city it is as well. Cardiff is a city of cultural significance. We find out more about the eclectic range of venues as well as how it's combining its cultural heritage with a great event supply chain. There's um, not a, a singular venue that you have to use for business events and a conference centre as such, but we find that more interesting because we use some of our um, uh, cultural venues and some of our heritage venues um, and some of our sporting venues, of which we've got um, about six large stadia. Um, one you'll probably be aware of, which is the Principality Stadium, um, 74,500 seats, you know, very large, but actually um, it can be used for any type of event, whether that's um, a business event, but um, sports event, but also um, concerts as well. So we hold uh, the likes of Beyonce and Ed Sheeran. Um, so yeah, some really unique venues that you can use. Speaking of unique venues, we headed over to speak to Nick Saunders, who's the director at Depot bringing delegates together for, for whatever the conference is. Um, there's always an element of, of social that wants to come with that and hence where the, the entertainment element would come in. Um, so we have a very popular event called Bingo Lingo which is here every Friday. We have done conferences before where they do the, the part in the day, I was going to say the boring part, but <laughs> depends on what conference you're, you're dealing with there. Um, element of the day and then obviously the entertainment in the evening um, and we're set up to do both so I think that's where we've had something different uh, people have come to us with ideas where um, we've had corporates who've built fairgrounds in here we've had corporates that want to show live sport before uh, or after their conference um, so I think where we had something different is just being a blank canvas coming uh, up with ideas but also bringing ideas to life that people have come to us. The Welsh capital is so much more than its city centre, with the surrounding area also providing some great, unique memories for delegates visiting the city. Well, what's really popular, and it's only just outside the city, is the museum at St Fagans, where they dismantle buildings from all around the country and rebuild them in this parkland. So it's only a short drive outside the city, and you really feel you're out in nature. And it's always changing. They, they just rebuilt a pub that used to be in the city centre, just coming to finish, and they're going to build a police station. So it's always changing and always evolving. I think if it was if it's specifically for Cardiff, I think we're very well positioned in the UK. I think with the, the train from London now becoming a lot more accessible, you've also got not just the city centre, but the surrounding areas of Cardiff that that make it such an amazing city. Um, if you're looking for a conference for a company, you're not too far away from doing something outdoors, whether that's um, on the coastline, 
um, or up the mountains in, in Cardiff. And there's, there's plenty of opportunities that surround Cardiff that are just not solely focused on the city centre. Um, but yeah, I think accessibility for us is, is, is really key. Um, and yeah, being, being on that train route from, from London now has really helped. I think it's just a vibrant city. So you've got an awful lot of students that keep the city very young. There's about 80,000 altogether. Um, and there's lots of bars and restaurants. So wherever you are in a venue in the city or in the bay, you more or less fall out into a restaurant or a bar or um, facilities. If you want somewhere where you can get world-class facilities yet still be uh, so close to nature, I mean, looking literally out of our, of our windows here and, and feeling like you're in the middle of a park where you can uh, give your delegates time to go on, on a boat trip d d down the river out into, into Cardiff Bay. So being an urban, thriving, busy centre and right in the middle of nature. If you want to be able to access everything that is special about Welsh culture, our, our song, our music, our poetry, um, our vibrant gig scene, terrific food, um, then I, you can't go far wrong with Cardiff. What we've learned about Cardiff today is that it's built on a foundation of great venues, great event profs and a wonderful supply chain. What elevates it, what takes it to that next level is its wonderful creative scene, its relationship with sport, its history, its heritage, the list goes on. So if you're a planner or an organiser out there and you think, hmm, maybe I don't want to go to London for my next conference, I hope you'll think of Cardiff. If you want to learn more about the city and its event scene, go to meetcardiff.com. And if you want to learn more about conferences in general, you can visit conference-news.co.uk. And I'll see you next time.